Hey guys, so basically today I'm just going to be doing my regular schmegular makeup that I do like on the daily like when I'm in a rush or whatever. So sorry if this isn't like the most like entertaining or like glamorous like makeup video or whatever. I'm just being real with y'all. You know what I mean? It's going to be budget friendly too because these girls will be wearing all that, you know, makeup from Sephora or like high-end makeup probably are not doing their makeup every freaking day before work let's just be real okay because it'd be expensive so that's why all my makeup is pretty much drugstore because I'm like a makeup addict and I wear that shit every day because why I'm ugly <laughs> just kidding I'm not but you know what I mean I feel like I am but yeah y'all so we're just going to do it and it get ready i already wet my sponge could y'all see in the corner the entire time anyways i look like a penis anyways um so first thing that i do this isn't like ideal that i want to do but i do it anyways okay don't come for me but i use concealer all over my face because as you can see this like shade matches me pretty like look on my neck it matches me really good so this is the elf hydrating camo concealer a lot of people hate on that one it's a 16 hour camo concealer but i fucking love it and it's also cheaper just to put concealer all over your face then foundation because I looked and my foundation that I got from the store, it was like, what, $15 for like that much, you know, like, I just can't. And it doesn't even really like match me that good, even though it says on there that like, that's your perfect match or whatever. It just don't match me, you know what I mean? So and that's also i was in the freaking walgreens trying to find a foundation that matched this i could not find anything for shit so that's why i just use this and it's cheaper like what is that concealer like six dollars you know and nobody would even really know if you didn't tell them so Hey, it's a makeup hack, okay? If you're really in the trenches and you have to wear makeup for your job because <laughs> apparently I have to because I worked at a salon, if you guys don't know. I just finished beauty school, hey! And finally got my 1,000 hours. Even though my beauty school, it was half online, half in person, so it was only 500 in person and I didn't even, like, go for, like, majority of them. So we're not gonna talk about that, okay? But, you know... I I finished and now one thing that I learned is if you try and work at a salon don't fucking come in without makeup because they're gonna get really mad at you so I quit that job because I was like girl it's 2024 like I can't wear makeup for one day like I, I understand if I was like a tomboy maybe you ain't you know supposed to be here maybe you weren't a great fit for the salon but girl I'm just giving my skin a break for one freaking day. And she got mad, so I'm like, Lord. I don't know if this is coming out that good because I low-key can't see. Because I never actually do makeup at my vanity. That ain't something that I do. Okay, now I'm going with the concealer. And I'm actually using it as concealer. I don't know why I put it right there, but I do. And I make a little heart. Well, it didn't come out very good today. But it looks better when you do that. Like, it kind of looks like you baked, even though you didn't. Because ain't nobody got time for that. So, yeah. I just blend all that shit in. And so, yeah. This is the makeup that I do. And I, like... This is kind of like a slowed version when I'm actually like doing it. I'm like going so fast because I'd be like not gonna lie, I'd be doing my makeup in like probably like 10 minutes or like 
15 you know what i mean just getting ready just taking a shower doing skincare like that is so important to me and i just take the concealer that's on the remains on my sponge and i just go over my eyelids like so just to like put it on there as like kind of a little like eyeshadow primer or like you know what i mean like the stuff that you put on so your eyeshadow like shines out good because my eyeshadow would not shine that great because my eyelids are pink so this stuff is pretty normal i'm literally like canceling out on my like little pinky red tones and my freaking look at that i am not sunburned y'all it just do it does that like i stay inside all the fucking time it just literally opened my window just to film this video it is closed most of the time because i'm a freaking vampire okay i need to shut the fuck up and put this powder on before my eyelids crease so now i just use this huda beauty one and it's pink so this kind of adds the pinkness back to my face and makes my face look like my actual skin and not that i just put like a bunch of like concealer and foundation all over it and also this is to like set my face as well so yeah and it smells good like this is the first ever found i mean not foundation powder that has had a scent to it i kind of low-key like it because it's just meant to like set your face and then you wipe it off so even if you're really sensitive like me you can like deal with it because you just wipe it off right after just getting it like went all to one side so yeah setting my face and your wrinkle lines because i'd be like smiling all the time and stuff like that <laughs> i don't know why people always are like why are you smiling like in math class bitch i don't know i'm fucking happy like why is you being such a hater ass bitch you know what i mean but anyways we're gonna put some powder on so we don't have that smile lines okay <coughs> so I'm got my throat I don't know about y'all but I've been having this dry cough I don't know if that's gonna make me get something or what but I usually always get sick before the summer and I haven't this year because I've been like at home and not in school I graduated last year hey also I'm just as you can see spooling up my eyebrows and then I take this. I know. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's from LA Colors. But I don't care. I like it. I look at me to sharpen it. But we're just going to make it count today. And I legit just fill in my eyebrows. Like how they're naturally shaped. I'm not really into like really dramatic makeup anymore for like the everyday i just kind of want something that like looks like naturally how i look you know so i don't really like see that's it filled that's it not you know what i mean like it's very subtle um and i wear kind of like smaller lashes now and even my nails are kind of more natural and stuff listen i just put some polish on just for finals like in between you know the time before i put on my grad nails and stuff like that okay don't judge me and i'm gonna do some cute nails but i've been liking small lashes natural nails natural brows natural skin i don't know why like i've just been kind of liking that because i feel like one thing that I realized being 19 is like my whole life as a teenager I wanted to look older and now that I'm getting to the age where I'm like being a little older and maturing a little more I want to like actually look youthful you know and now I'm just gonna go in with some brow gel from elf just like that and I just want to, like, you know, actually kind of look like my age just for a little bit longer because probably th people think I'm way older. But, yes, I'm only 19. I'm only 19. I know I look 25. No, I'm 19. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And now I'm going to go in with some bronzer because it's actually bronzer season. 
I put bronzer like year round, even though I'm like, one time I was doing it, I was like, bitch, it's fucking December and like January. Like, I'm not gonna be tan. Or it's like, no, it was February. I was like, it's February. Like, everyone's pale as shit right now. Like, why am I putting on freaking bronzer? But now that it's like June, actually, when I filmed this, which by the way, May went by so fast. It's bronzer season. And it actually makes sense to wear bronzer now. So that's what I do. And I take it, I used to, let me show you the brush I used to use. Like this one, which is like a foundation brush. But I use all my brushes for like everything. Like I don't actually use them for like the same, like what they're actually meant for. But I did Latina makeup and their like bronzer is not so like, you know what I mean? Because it's very like, a very like kind of one tone base, you know what I mean? Unless you put like blush on or whatever. So I go with this like powder brush and as you can see it just gives you a very like you know just a little wash of color but it's nothing too much you know what i mean and so this is perfect with every day and i just put some on my nose instead of nose contouring because i don't have time for that you know what i mean and that's what i do and you're already pretty much halfway done with your makeup and then now i'm gonna put on some blush I use the same try and true Sailor Moon blush. And I use this blush brush because it has like a little tip right there. And I'll just go in, tap it off. And okay, so here's a little makeup tip. And this is what I've been seeing. And this is why everyone looks older. No shade to anyone. Do your makeup however the fuck you want. But I'm just saying, if you put, everyone's been putting their blush. Like, right here, that's going to make you look older. That's going to make you look like a mature woman, like 30s, 40s, you know what I mean? So, what I do is I put my blush, like, right here. And then it kind of makes your cheeks look, like, chubby. I mean, it's all just by your face shape. I have chubby cheeks, you know what I mean? So, I put it there. And I, like you know kind of go like that but i mainly deposit the color like on my forward cheeks and i like this better because i just feel like it makes your makeup look so different just how you the placement of where you put things you know and so i really like this and also i feel like it looks really natural because we actually like blush like right here not so much like right there you know it's kind of for more like glam makeup or just like makeup you know is not like naturally how you are, you know? And I'll put some on my nose. Like for me, <coughs> there's three ways I'm doing um, blush. Putting it like right here, putting it right here, or putting it like right here and then like that. You know what I mean? All it's the same product but it makes your makeup look so different and same thing that i learned with eyeliner and mascara it can completely change how you look whether you're going for a kind of a cat eye or kind of a round doe eye it's all just the placement of makeup it's not really what you use or the product itself it's the placement that actually matters like a lot and so now, I know, this is, like, so old. I I used to use this uh, Juvia's Place um, highlighter, like, all over my face. And I just do it in my inner corner. It has, like, little pixie dust. That's what I call, like, the inner corner gold that everyone does. But this is kind of just more subtle. So I put that everywhere. Because I'm just, like, you know... It might be actually kind of nice just to have it kind of be super subtle and you're not just, like, looking at my nose and seeing all the gold, like, on there. You know what I mean? Because that's what I kind of, like, noticed when I went to the bathroom. Like, even though I do a really good snatched, like, nose contour and stuff, like, I would put the gold, like, right here and right here. And you could just, like, see. And I would not blend it either. Because obviously it looks cuter like that. But then like when you actually go in like person and take a picture like. Ooh, that looks kind of weird. So yeah that's what I just do. And I know you can't really notice it. But that's kind of the whole point. It's just look like it's not even really there. You know. 
and that's why i love this and that's why i never use this but now that i'm like on my natural shit i use it and so now i'm gonna go in look how gross my makeup is this is just peachy mattes by Too faced i own this like both of these were probably purchased in like 2018 i'm just like oh no like all my newer makeup is like drugstore and elf and okay this technically was but i didn't buy it but you know what i mean like the newer makeup that i bought was like that fucking la colors pencil you know what i mean like all like this literally hit pan that's how long i had this and i'm about to go in it's called peach tea it's a color that has a little pan hole in it and i just take this little sh brush that i use for my powder and i just go on my eyelids and i literally just deposit color because i'm super fair skin and if i don't it's just gonna look really white and it's gonna bother me and i got bullied for that and i don't know it just irks me you know what i mean like fine i'll put a little brown shade so my it's not so like white from my concealer and stuff so yeah that's why i do and then now it's time for eyeliner and mascara and this is also i'm about to like get dive into a lot of like little makeup tips right now but for eyeliner um i use this elf eyeliner i'm pretty sure a lot of bitches actually do we all pretty much use the same makeup but it's not about the products it's about the place that's what i learned and i'm gonna have to focus but basically what i do is i just draw a little tiny tiny little wing because this is like a natural makeup look you know so I just draw like a little line like that and then let's do it on the other side trying to make it even even Steven even though my eyes are like that's not even but it's okay my eyes are like completely different like and there's like a little eye flab right there that isn't on the other side and I know this looks crazy but this isn't even really how I do it I'm just doing this for like a tutorial for the video let me gets a little mirror so i can actually do this and then what i do is i'm gonna connect it now so let me see if i can show you like so and fill it in and make it straight because we don't want any gay eye liner lines do we <laughs> that's a joke don't come for me and oh this one came out kind of crappy so i'm just gonna make it better and connect and fill it in like so like that pretty much Actually, let me make this one better. Because I was running out. And yeah. The goal is just to make them look as good as humanly possible. Like so. I can hear my cat snoring. She's in my bed. Let me show her. Can you guys see her right there? I'll see, yes, I just put my purses here for the video. But she's making her little noises and stuff. Her little snores, her little grunts. Anyways, so, ooh. That's really snatched. I look like Asian or something like that. Don't come at me. Anyways. Um, and then, mascara. This is a Too Faced Better Than Sex. I swear by this, but... Um, look, they changed up their packaging, like, it's only, like, cute and cool, like, right here, and then this is just, like, no little water residue dots, like, you know what I mean? And it used to not be like that, and I literally just bought this for the packaging, because it was so cute, and also, 
I need waterproof mascara because I'm a little cryy bitch that freaking cries all the time and my eyes water like immediately after I put on makeup and mascara because I'm a sensitive little girl. So yeah, I cannot not have make like not like I cannot put on any mascara that is not waterproof even though it's so annoying to take it off i can't and one time funny story i actually went to a makeup artist and she was doing my prom makeup and i was like make sure to put waterproof mascara on my eyes because my eyes water like right after and she's like why you're like you're not gonna cry or anything i'm like girl you never know especially at prom like something wrong could go on she's like you're not gonna cry i'm like bitch but just put it on anyways okay anyways but here's a little makeup tip that i'm gonna do i used to just put on under um eye mascara just like normal not really think about it you know what i mean but here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put like barely any right there and then a shit ton like glob it on on the corner of my eye and it changes up your eye completely and makes more of like a cat eye and it's really cool like that see how different that is that's a makeup hack that i learned and it changed my life and now i'm just gonna do it on the other side and then i'm gonna put on these little lashes that are so cheap and they're so great and they're so nice and they're like one dollar for each pair so they're six dollars in total so like the price of boba which by the way i don't know if you guys seen that tiktok trend where it's where it's like what can you buy with your body count and i was like thinking about it and i realized the coolest thing i could say is probably boba so and it depends where you get it from what will be my body count i guess because boba sometimes be six dollars and fifty cents sometimes it'd be as much as eight dollars or ten or whatever the fuck you know what i mean so yeah you just never know and then see look my nose is already running like just by putting on the mascara i'm just gonna put a little tiny bit but then we go glob at the end and it's just like changes your eye like so see it ain't about the makeup it's about the placement just saying and then now i'm gonna take this duo eyelash glue which by the way it says active on it like why would you just be like hold up i'm about to go work out let me just get my eyelash glue you know i'm about to be go be active you know what i mean like i have worked out on a full face of makeup i have been that girl but never have i been like oh i need my eyelash glue to be specifically active because i work out i'm like girl okay but you know and when i do because these eyelashes look how tiny they are and they're a little band so i apply the eyelash actually like the eyelash glue actually on my eye this has been life-saving and also so I just apply it like that like literally on my eyelashes so that like i don't make the line because if i make the line the eyelashes aren't that big and they're not gonna like disguise the little line so i have to make this like really thin actually like put this like on my eyelashes also what i was talking about is that if you're that girl that always has wonky eyelashes what you can do is you can put it on your eye and on your eyelashes and then like it won't come off and if it does you either cried or a hurricane was on your face because that is legit never happened to me and so now i'm just gonna put them on and I'm just gonna sit them on my eye and they stick way better than just putting it on the eyelash and trying to stick it to like your set makeup. And it just works way better in my opinion. And these lashes are so cute and natural. I love them. And see how like that little like just putting the eyelash, I mean the mascara 
in the corner of the eye it like completely changes your eyes and kind of makes it go or like i don't know kind of makes you have like anime eyes sort of so yeah that's the eyes and that's just all i pretty much do except put my little pixie dust on and then after that it's just lips and we're done and this is just all that i freaking do pretty much pretty natural i've come a long way because i used to do really glammy makeup like even on every day but girl i don't have time for that unfortunately so i take the same brush that i use my like um other highlight in i use the same brushes for everything i know that's super gross of me and i never clean them ever either and i just put little eye gold and then the little residue that's on the brush as you can see i'll put like on my nose and just like right here and on my eyebrows but nothing too crazy because this is like kind of a natural look which i know my eyes don't look very natural but it's kind of like more an innocent young look you know and then when i zoom which hold on i'll have to get up for this and y'all see my little pink shorts that I'm wearing right now? You can see them? Sorry, my ass is out. Hey! Go home one sec. I'll come and don't ask why I keep my Q-tips in my drawer. I just do. You can get some Q-tips. Or just whatever you have. It doesn't really matter. I've used like a cotton round that I took off my makeup. And you just go like that. And it, it turns it really red. And it's cute. And then I'll just add lip gloss. So my lips aren't crusty. Because I am that bitch. With the crusty lips. And they already look chapped too. Because that's just my natural color. Like this is my natural color. so and then let me get some lip gloss that i have in here and i literally have to put it in a bag because it's so goopy but i love how thick it is like anyways <laughs> i love how thick and like goopy it is you know because it's just like amazing Like so. It's all on one side. Gotta move it. Like this. So yeah, this is my natural makeup everyday makeup look. But yeah, you guys, this is my makeup and more natural lighting as you can see. Sorry if the lighting is not that great. It's kind of like a really gloomy day outside so like see outside all gray and shit but yeah this is my makeup and this is my kit kat fuji <laughs> she just woke up from her nap but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe down below me and fuji love you okay bye say bye